You too! What's good? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM I hope you guys are doing good. Today we're going to be reacting to Inside or Mellow Balls 10.1 million dollars house. Mansion, not house. That's, that's not house, it's a mansion. I wonder how, he, he, he didn't even make, did he, no he didn't even make, well I'm pretty sure he was making money off of his name. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm why I act like these dudes wasn't getting paid before they came into the NBA. Come on, like, we both know them niggas was getting paid in colleges. Don't NCAA, y'all, them niggas getting paid too. But uh, hey, make your money. I believe them. But yeah, let's get into it. This twenty-five thousand square foot mega mansion is now home to Hornets rookie Lamelo Ball. The mansion is truly a one-of-a-kind piece of luxury real estate. Bought by LaMelo Ooh. for slightly over $10 million, his new home features 11 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, a massive indoor pool, and even comes with its own helicopter. The backyard features a resort-like spa area and a private beach spanning half the length of a football field. But before we give you an exclusive look inside LaMelo's new mega mansion, please consider- This nigga house has a helicopter that comes with it? Why? Do you have a pilot? I wonder if you have a pilot. Like, hey, bro, take me to the. Take me. Oh God, this is amazing. Oh. I, I just think it's my ten point one million dollars. Consider subscribing Ridiculous. to the channel if you are new and enjoy the content. First off, the mansion is located in Jacksonville, North Carolina, oh. and was recently purchased by Mello back in January of twenty twenty one. He is expected to pay $107,000 per year in property taxes due to the home's location and value, which shouldn't be a problem considering he already has a net worth of $140 million at 19 years old. Well, them niggas so always had money. Entrance. That's that's not why they didn't have money. You've got 30 foot ceiling. Yeah. So we we all know the ball brand. These niggas always had money. These niggas, this nigga, he had a he had a Lamborghini and a Ferrari when he was like. Uh, well, what? When he was still in high school, I think that's what he had. When when Lamelo got drafted, no, when Lonzo got drafted, he did was doing a documentary and they was talking about what, what car he has, and he was like, I have a Ferrari or oh, oh, a Lambo, a Lambo. These things always have money. Links and are greeted with a grand double bridal staircase. And if you look up, you can see Mello's custom-built diamond chandelier, which he reportedly paid $600,000. From the entrance, the home flows into a 300 $300,000! That includes floor-to-ceiling glass windows looking out at the North Atlantic Ocean. The mansion also has its own helipad, so whether Mello wants to arrive home by car, water, or the sky, he can. And when you have a home of this caliber, I'd say it's good to have options on how you arrive. Moving on to the That's kitchen nice area, cool. you can see just how spacious this place is. The kitchen is state-of-the-art featuring a bar, a wine refrigerator, double sub-zero sinks, and wolf stoves. Wolf. The kitchen appliances alone cost Mello a light 100000 He also light. has an in-home chef the say Hornets light. hired for him to help him eat healthier. The kitchen okay. also has its own living room area with a huge flat screen TV and a wraparound patio outside. Well, he is the first overall pick. Going upstairs to the master bedroom, when you first walk in, you are greeted by an incredible view overlooking the Atlantic. And going outside to the bedroom balcony, you can see the entire outdoor spa area, which LaMelo titled Atlantis. The bedroom's bathroom is covered in expensive marble and features a massive steam shower a that nice has 12 house. different sprays and built-in speakers for music. You got a bed, the bathroom you got a jam also pool. overlooks the 3,000 square foot indoor pool area, which has its own entertainment this nigga, center and... This nigga has a pool inside his house. Boy! You, you know what really tricked me? It's eleven. It's, it's eleven bedroom, and it's, I probably think it's only like probably what five of these niggas. Probably it's probably only be like six people that live inside the house. I don't know what you guys, right? For a person who you know, what I mean, I, I person don't. I personally don't like big homes. I don't know why. I don't like big homes. If I'm by myself, I never understood that. Why the hell? Why would I want? Why would I want a big ass mansion if I live by myself? They can give me a two bedroom or four. The max. Four. Nah, that's still too big. Give me two. I don't know. By myself, 
two. I got one for my bedroom, one is my office. Give me a two bedroom place spot. And I bowl it. I straight. I am straight. Jim. When LaMelo first That's bought the house, gym. this area was actually something completely different. Oh. After buying the mansion, Melo had this entire indoor pool area custom built. It is said that this area alone cost him an additional $1.2 million to build. But judging by the way it turned out, we'd say it was definitely worth the extra million. Now, after you get done swimming in the indoor pool, you can take the elevator down to the basement and watch your favorite movies in the theater, which has 12 stupidly expensive crocodile leather seats that sit on stadium seating so everyone in the theater can see the screen. Say <laughs> stupid Other than the theater, Mello's basement is mostly empty for now. But according to Yahoo Sports, Mello has plans of building an indoor bowling alley and a nightclub in his 8,000 square foot basement. Oh my mama! I promise you! I promise y'all! I promise you! This would be in the Playboy house. You have to know! I wouldn't let you down. This would be in the Playboy. What? This would be in the Playboy Mansion! Part 2! You have to know! I wouldn't let you down. I would carry the legacy on for you, bubble. Now, this isn't just any regular mansion, though. LaMelo's mansion is actually right next to his new boss, Michael Jordan, uh. owner of the Charlotte Hornets. But people close to Mello said that Michael actually talked him into buying the mansion. He didn't want the young point guard throwing any crazy parties or doing anything stupid that could possibly ruin his promising NBA career. Which is why he wanted Mello to buy the neighboring mansion so he could keep a close eye on him. Protect the investment, smart. mansion also includes an eight car garage that stores his stacked $1 million car collection. Inside LaMelo's car collection is a new 2021 Lamborghini truck that he bought a few months after being drafted. It is said that he dropped a whopping $350,000 on the new Lamborghini truck. These niggas just Mello got also went the money. extra mile and fully upgraded his Lamb truck with nitrous and a custom orange paint job. Mello Why? has also been seen driving a brand new $450,000 Rolls Royce truck. Double on Plus a draft guy gift from his older brother, Lonzo. His dad, LeVar, also gifted him a 2020 Lamborghini Huracan, which reportedly cost $250,000. Now, y'all about to make me call my daddy and my brother and tell him F you I think he bought. Hey, y'all about to hear hey, these things about maybe call my parents. That, see, y'all bums! No, they never give me. <laughs> I call my brother, nigga. You never bought me a Rolls Royce truck. Suck my dick. My daddy. Nigga, you put me to school, but you never give me a Lamborghini Huracan. Kiss my ass. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm about to sound real ungrateful. Nice hefty security, right? But instead of getting a regular security team like most celebrities would, Mello went ahead and bought two Rottweilers to protect his massive estate. He reportedly paid a total of $10,000 for both his Rottweiler puppies. But Mello, let me tell you something. You got finesse, my boy. You spent ten thousand on, but you got finesse. You get finesse. You spent ten thousand dollars on two basic rock, bro. You got fin. You could have come by me. I could get you the full grand if that. You got finesse, my boy. Unless they military, even if they military trained pit bull. I mean rock water. Nah, bro, you get, but you get taken to the cleanup. They just, they, bro, ten dollars. You, you stupid. I'm Perhaps sorry. the most interesting. You spent ten dollars on some Rottweilers. Mello actually bought both his Rottweilers a fully iced out diamond dog chain collar with their names engraved in the chains. It is said that each chain cost Lamelo fifty thousand dollars, totaling a hundred thousand dollars on just two dog chains. When asked why he decided to spend so much money on his dogs, he simply replied. I got my dog some chains so that they could have some drip. I got my dog a chain so he can have some drip. But the spending didn't stop there. When you're 19 and worth 140 million, why not put your money where your mouth is? Literally. Mello celebrated getting drafted by the Hornets by purchasing himself a custom diamond grill from no other than Johnny Dang himself. The iced out grill reportedly cost Lamelo $500,000. When Mello was asked why he decided to spend so much money on the grill, he said, Once you get into the NBA, you're surrounded by a bunch of guys who already have all the most expensive stuff. 
and since I was a rookie, they kept trying to play me like I didn't have it. So I went out and bought the grill from Johnny to show them that I got heavy pockets too. Was that your first big purchase uh, with, with the NBA contract? Nah, I don't spend my NBA money. I'm smarter than that. Fans on Twitter slammed Melo, telling him to get his priorities straight and not blow his first paycheck on what can only be described as a stupid purchase. One fan wrote, Priorities, man. Shame the- Ah, suck my dick, Jason. You just mad because that nigga spending money, nigga. Such a bitch ass up, Jason. Yo, alright, it was- <laughs> It was kinda- it, Okay, it was a little OD, but hey, he got money. And I'm- Listen, we- You gotta remember, we looking at it from the outside in. Right? But Jason, dick riding, he just mad because he ain't got a hundred thousand dollars to spend on this damn doggy dog. That was a little OD, I mean mellow. That was a little OD. But still, he just mad because he ain't got hot, he ain't got, okay, the power, he said he felt pressure from his teammates. Nah, but people. listen, ain't nobody can pressure me into spending money I don't want to spend. Hey, listen, I, you, you can suck you can my dick on, you can suck my dick on a Tuesday afternoon. I don't give a damn. I, you don't make me spend no money. Five hundred dollars. But Johnny didn't think you did. But no, but, oh, Malo, they finesse you at them two dogs, though. Bro, I know dogs. I ain't spent what? You, you, your dogs want drip? Tell your dog was sitting in the corner. Where your dog, where your dogs going that they need drip? I'll wait. Like Delonte West yet. You see what happens to people who blow their money like that? They end up homeless. Lamelo clapped back at the fan saying he hasn't spent one cent of his NBA. I wouldn't even tell him that. Which I have to say is pretty hard to believe when you see what he bought next. His next purchase was so big, even ESPN. Let me hear. Let me hear what they get. Let me let me hear. Now, most professional athletes, after having a long and successful career, typically buy a share. In Where is that nigga? The but other guys like Lamelo Ball are a little different. Because before Melo was even drafted into the NBA, he purchased the Australian NBL team, the Alara Hawks, for $10 million. And he didn't even purchase a small share of the team. No, Lamelo purchased the entire franchise at 18 years old. His manager, Jermaine Jackson, said that Lamelo loves the Illawarra fans, he loves the community, he loves how they opened their arms to him and made us feel like we were at home. When we started hearing about the issues that they were going through, we talked about it and decided, you know what, let's own the whole team. Jackson made it clear that Melo will be locked into his NBA career and fully focused on the game, but the right people will be hired to oversee everything and continue the future and longevity of the Hawks. If you had the kind of money Lamelo has, what would be the first thing you would buy? Let us know in the comment section Bro. below. Yo, Melo. I hope Melo watches. Melo. Like and subscribing to the channel. Niggas just jealous, bro. Niggas, niggas just jealous because they ain't got no money. They ain't, they ain't got four hundred forty million dollars, my boy. Even though you did spend a little something on that, I, I really, probably really got me upset. Some dogs, bro. You could give me that money, man. You give me that ten, and I'm not allowed to get you two big pit bulls, man. Rock wild, man. I can't get you these dogs, Melo. I would come to your dog <laughs> with a dog. With my ten grand. Or oh, my mama! I'd have come to your door, oh, bro. I'd have come to your door. Look. I'd have thrown my next door for you for free. You, 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 you pay me ten grand? Stop playing, bro. And if anybody say, oh, ten grand's a reasonable. No, it's not. Ten grand for two pit um, white wireless? I think it's tripping. Yo. But anyway, now though, that nigga's just hating because they got money. Like, if he say he ain't spent a cent of his NBA money, Good. He has investment. Have fun, bro. You have one life to live. Obviously, he got different sources of revenue. Some of you broke bum niggas need to step up your money game, bro. Stop watching other niggas in pocket, pocket watching and calling another nigga dollar. Oh, I hit your niggas. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Mellow, if you want some more pitbulls, I mean, rock wilder. Hope you guys have an awesome day, man. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.